Good morning, Cardinal Elementary students and teachers. This is your principal, Dr. Abrego, with Cardinal News TV. Today is Thursday, December 10th, 2020. The temperature in Richmond, Virginia is 35 degrees. It is going to be mostly sunny. Today we celebrate National International Animal Day. Some examples of international animals are an elephant and a giraffe. And now, Miss Cortez, fourth grade class, will join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Miss Corris, fourth grade class. And now let us recite together our Cardinal Elementary Pledge. Repeat after me. We, Cardinal Elementary students, pledge to be creative, avid readers, respectful to self and others, dedicated to the power of learning, inquisitive, nice to our teachers and friends, attentive listeners, lifelong learners. We pledge to be cardinals. Now let's sing together our cardinal elementary song. Our teacher model this week, teacher role model, is Miss Shannon Spicer. Yesterday I told you that Miss Spicer is a very helpful teacher to others. She's always available when you need her support. She is patient and loves to teach English as a second language. She is also very creative and she displays a positive attitude all the time. Thank you, Miss Spicer, for being a teacher role model and a wonderful part of the Cardinal Elementary family. And today we have two students who are our role models. We have Tamia Hill from Miss Stewart's class. She's a third grade class student. Her teacher says she is an engaged learner. We can count on her to get all our morning meeting conversations started. She pays attention to all our lessons respectfully and actively participates in all related classroom discussions. Tamia puts her best foot toward every day. She is an excellent cardinal role model. Thank you, Tamia, for being an excellent role model in Miss Stewart's third grade class. And we have Anthony Gonzalez. He is in Miss Christian's class. He is a second grade student. His teacher says he works hard and he's a role model for, model for other students in the class. 
His teacher loves Anthony and she is very, very proud of him. Thank you, Anthony, for being a role model for all our Cardinal Elementary students. And now the letter of the week. Remember, the letter of the week is the letter A. This is the capital A, capital letter, uppercase A, lowercase A. And a word starting with the letter A, the sound A, uh, A, uh, is art. Do you know who teaches your art class? Do you remember? Can you tell me her name? Tell your teacher who teaches your art class. Yes, it's Miss Hawkins. She is your art teacher. The letter of the week is the letter A. Ah. And now, the number oh, of the week. It's still A, Cardinal. <laughs> Happy Thursday, Cardinal Cardinals. The number of the week is still eight. <laughs> A spider has eight legs. El número de la semana es ocho. We can also find eight on the number line. Let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what else besides the spider, la aranja, tiene ocho piernas? The octopus also has eight legs. Can you do one more than eight and one less than eight really quickly? What about two less than eight? and two more than eight, as fast as you can. Can you do three less and three more? Oh, that's off our number line, but you can do it. Today, I also want you to think about four less than eight and four more than eight, five more than eight and five less than eight. Have a happy, happy Thursday. Thank you, Ms. Holmes, for the number of the week, the number eight. And now the word of the week with Mr. Smith and his special assistant. Good morning, Cardinal Cardinals. This is Mr. Smith and his special assistant, Amelia, bringing you the word of the day. Amelia, what is the word of the day? Continent. Continent. And a continent is a large, solid area of land. We said that Earth has seven continents, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. Today, we are talking about the part of speech for the word continent. Amelia, what's the part of speech for the word continent? A noun. A noun. And how many syllables does the word continent have? Three. Three. And tomorrow we will learn more about continents. Take care, boys and girls. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for a wonderful lesson. The word of the week is the word continent. And now, remember, I told you I was going to have a special surprise for you. A cardin cardinal elementary classroom. Let's look at this little video. This is a kindergarten classroom at Cardinal Elementary School. Look at how pretty it is. Look at these comfortable chairs. What a beautiful classroom. I hope we are all going to be back in our classrooms 
soon and we can enjoy our wonderful cardinal, new cardinal elementary building. And today we are going to miss Miss Bryda. She will be with us on Monday. You all have a fantastic day of learning and I will see you tomorrow with more of Cardinal News TV. Thank you, have a wonderful day.